the windowers are cutting off their noise to spite their face by snapping in vectors gums and i'm like you know what no one cares people like literally don't care about them with any involvement to do with the invictus game because i bet everything that they touch falls apart nothing of theirs works out perfectly all right i don't know if that's your thought because that's my thought because uh, they snap in victor's game and claim that they don't have time for prince harry yet there are the same people questioning if uh, he is if he will make time to see his father or his brother how does that add up how does that make even any sense one thing i can say they are just jealous of what harry has accomplished on uh, his own that's one thing that's basically itching them up they've done what they've done they've accomplished what they have through their own strength they were not at any particular point assisted uh, with anyone it kills them that they have absolutely no control so they ignore the invite they don't harry doesn't at any particular point need a royal endorsement he is doing great without it he doesn't need them he doesn't need a royal endorsement he doesn't need them to make it because he's already made it without them and that's one thing that literally gives them all the reasons to get this jealous to get this marred to that extent of them having an invitation to the 10th year anniversary in victor's game but at going to extra mile over just declining the invitation and i'm like you know what Harry and Meghan really, really would stand a lot from them. Somebody went ahead and said, of course, Harry invited them. And of course, they declined. They couldn't even bring themselves to wish the UK and Vector steam good luck or congratulate them upon their return home. I hope that the US host in Victor's 2027, because I believe the UK doesn't or don't deserve the privilege. To that point, they can't make effort of going to support their own team or even just giving them a welcome back. That explains that they have something so much against to do with the Invictus game. They are not ready to support it. They are not ready to just watch it go extra miles under their watch. But you know what? That doesn't stop Harry and Meghan even for a bit. If this is how a father, also a king and head of the Commonwealth, treats his own son and Harry's very real contribution to the armed forces, there is no way I believe he ever cared about Diana. Even post-divorce, these senior royals are nothing but cold, petty, bitter people. That's what they are. That's what they are. The Windsors are now irrelevant and literally no one cares about them. People are only interested in Harry and Meghan and that one chokes them. Just sitting down and just realizing or watching this happen chocks them I, I i always say it's better to keep it's better for harry and megan to just keep themselves away from them because i believe they're toxic very because of the things they do makes one wants to question is this a king is this the heir is this the monarch are this the leaders because what they do, they don't deserve those titles. Because basically the Windsors are just allowing jailers to prevent them from supporting veterans and active duty service members is what we have unfortunately come to expect from them. But you know what? That's it. Who cares about what the Windsors thinks? Basically, no one. 
Harry can go straight to the airport after the event. And you know what else? They'll, they'll do nothing to stop him. Harry can go straight to the airport as soon as the event is over or head towards the airport the next day. He doesn't have to spend more additional time to a place or an environment where he is not appreciated. The British royal family don't need to be at the Invictus ceremony to make it happen. Their presence is not very much needed. But you know, this would have given them an advantage of just wanting to show people their own people that you know what? We support our birth brands. We support Invictus Camp and that's why we're here. But not surprising, they've let jealous kind of just cut them off. You know it's bad for the Windsors when even their biggest media supporters are writing columns about how they are stupid and short-sighted. To recap, the Windsors refused to acknowledge the Invectors guns in the Hague 2022 and Dusseldorf 2023. King Charles wouldn't even wish the British and Victor's team well ahead of the Dusseldorf camps, nor was any support, nor was any support or well wishes offered as British veterans won several medals. In fact, the Windsorers burst themselves with fake work in an attempt to make it happen of the Dusseldorf camps to not avail. Now the British government is pulling out the stops to win the bid to host 2027 in Victor's Games. And they haven't even put together this Facaster factor anniversary service next week. For which Prince Harry is flying in to attend. He's reportedly invited his family to attend and they refuse which has led to daily beast tom sky to devote a royalist column to royal sources talking about how the windowers are spiteful morons for continuing to snub and ignore the invictors game and i'm like you know what that's what they are it's like they basically don't know their role they don't know what is expected of them they don't understand that the term service is universal and that you need to do you need to be there, avail yourself and do what is expected of you. It's not just a Nigerian government. Harry has been treated as a high-level dignitary by German government, the Dutch government, and lots and lots more. So even if at this particular juncture, the UK doesn't kind of take that as an example and implement it, it's up to the royal family because it's basically them Shukasen, how incompetent, very much short-sighted. Let me just use the term that their own media outlets are using. They have opportunities close to them, but they still tend to leave jailers' bitterness kind of just take over. And that's why things tend to fall the way they are. Whatever they touch automatically falls apart. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what are your thoughts on this. Kindly just let me know down below. Hoping to see you guys in our next videos.